must make this very quick. Yes, I'm gonna make this super fast because I'm hungry and I'm gonna be pulling up to Jack in the Box. I have a coupon here. Oh yes, I love being all frugal. Well, my story uh, comes from when I was working at the Christmas tree farm. And uh, I remember looking up from my weed eater because I'd stay out there all day long during the summer cutting the weeds from around little saplings. And uh, I remember looking up and seeing a man stumbling along the road, which was very weird because this is a country road out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, sort of nowhere, I'm being exaggerated, but, but uh, anyway, hyperboles aside, I, I saw this guy stumbling along and I was like, wow, that's, that's weird. Kind of, kind of, kind of looked down the road where he was going. He just stumbling along the road. I go, huh? Well, a few minutes later, maybe oh, I don't know, thirty minutes. I looked up and there was a cop standing there, just out in the middle of this field, and uh, with with little saplings around. And here I was, like with with grass peppered sprayed all over my face, and and ah, oh, it's just filthy. And here's this cop standing there, and I was like, oh, hello, officer, how may I help you? As if like, hey, this happens all the time. Hey, how may I help you? Would you like a Christmas tree? How about this little guy? He's not quite fully mature, but it would work as a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, which by the way, that's not a funny joke. Stop saying Charlie Brown Christmas tree. When a Christmas tree is, is small, I know you're referring to a cartoon and a very, very endearing time in your childhood when you watched Charlie Brown's Christmas, but it's not funny anymore. Oh, look at the little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. See, there I go again, being all cynical. You, you can tell that I've heard these jokes thousands of times working at a Christmas tree farm, even though I only worked there maybe two seasons. So back to the cops standing in the, in the middle of the field. Wow, it sounds like a joke, doesn't it? So there was this, there was this guy and, and this cop standing in the middle of the field. It sounds like a joke. So anyway, back to the guy stumbling along the road. He said, did you, did you uh, see something? It's like, what do you mean, did I see something? I, I've been seeing trees for the past hour. And uh, he said, no, 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 I mean, there was a car wreck down the road and uh, it was a hit and run. Well, a hit and walk more likely <laughs> because cause the guy left his car there. And I was like, yeah, I saw the guy go down in that direction. It's like okay, and I actually described him fairly accurately. Uh, I I I have the the uncanny ability to describe people very very uh, creatively. Um, at least I think so. Yeah, this guy he he'd remind you of a churro, you know something like that. Uh, you know, tall, skinny, um, very up and down fe features, sweet sort of fellow, churro. So anyway, uh, they, I don't know if they ever caught him. I hope they did. But uh, that was my uh, very wonderful, weird afternoon at the Christmas tree farm. And uh, if Sam was there, he'd probably say, Hey, Bo, you should be a lawyer. You should go help that guy.